is saying that whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. It is very important to be diligent in whatever you do and to have the right mindset in doing it. The truth is, people are monitoring your actions, but you might not know. If you do good, people are watching and if you do bad, definitely people will also watch. Few hours back, a man identified as Abiola Adigun, T-Boy, shared a post to the Facebook group of Odudua Nation to ask a strong question which concerns both former Governor Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu and Sunday Adeni Igbowo, or Adeyemo Igbowo. The post which was written in Yoruba reads, that's it. And he asked, Who between Tinumbu and Sunday Igbowo is the first to be first to stand up for the Yoruba people? Uh, as in who, uh, the Ashiwaju, because the meaning of the Ashiwaju is that the, is a, the representative of the people, the, the, the person who is always in the forefront. Uh, you are going to lead the od- other people based on your antecedent, based on what you have you've got to be able to carry other people along you have to lead in everything so now the person is asking who is to be the first to stand up for the yoruba people that is the question hmm. and lots of people are asking of course he asked a question that uh, who is to be called you know our representative who is really leading the people it's not a, a do you think it's by money it's by sharing uh whatever it goes beyond that like they always say teach people how to how to fish don't give them fish just give them how to fish and think i think that's what brought about uh, this, this question someone said igbo sababa igbo sa shiwaju riri okay she sunday igbo twali baba the biggest igbo of our time i doff my cap baba sunday igbo nice sunday igbo be the first person Sunday, Igbosa, Baba Dami. Okay, <laughs> okay, everybody's saying it's a Sunday. Um, Igbo that is the one that's supposed to be Ashiwaju. Ashiwaju will really achieve Sunday. Igbo, okay, someone say Jagabani. We cannot follow illiterate Sunday. Igbo, Sunday, Igbo, no arguments. Okay, <laughs> Jagaban. I know people always talk about a. Uh, uh, illiterate we have people the people who have destroyed this country they are not even educated that is it they call themselves educated they are not educated for the fact that uh, somebody is fluent in english and uh it's not or the other person is not fluent in english it is not a determinant to say whether the person is educated we, we are where we are today you know some people are bootlickers so they can just say whatever the people are saying that uh, some people are asking the question those who are saying Oh, somebody is educated. So, as the education, is it the education that they used to go and at least to a very large extent, he has been able to bring about what is happening in that region, in that particular area? Because before now, they usually sweep all of those things in, under the carpet. But with him coming out, he was able to hit the nail on the head. But those who are saying they even they are even illiterate, they are educated illiterate because they are not even see all of them. The, somebody who is building Agberu. You say the person is educated. Somebody who is making mistakes here and there. For the fact that you speak one language, which is e- English, is just an ordinary language. To some people, so some countries, they don't speak English. They don't speak BDC, but they are well developed. So we that can speak English, I don't even know the nonsense English we are even speaking. It does not even have the add value because it's a borrowed language. So to some people, if you don't speak English, it's like that is the end of the world. We speak the English Yet the country is, is as backward as what we cannot even describe. Everyone is even confused. Everybody is confused. So these are opinions of people. Um, someone said your father is illiterate. When Tinubu and Co, they shop your future. So you still want to say your children future to Abi or Mokomo. Uh Igbo Osa Ekun Oko Fulani. Say say is the husband on the Fulani. Igbo osa ekwo ko fula ni sunday igbo osa na ibi ashiwaju so why tinobu can come out when fulani started killing yoruba where is he and you said you can't follow illiterate so what um you is english your father okay you is english your father language <laughs> please answer me i don't know other people's language neither they carry for head other people are like you this english you are even speaking why are we even speaking it 
Why can't we even be speaking our language and be proud of our language? Speaking other people's language, we are, we are boasting about that. We are happy about it. But you can equally follow educated illiteracy that you like. Igbo Osa is our man. When people are saying, okay, when people are saying it, so thank God that people know Ashiwaju not until you give some body money, somebody money or something else. If you want to say the truth, Igbo is the best ever. Tinubu will remain the Ashiwaju. Igbo is Balogun of Yoruba land. Tinubu as an elder has won uncountable political war in Nigeria. Tinubu is a king maker. Huh? They only say king maker, king maker. Oh, they, they are making people that I have destroyed this country. That is how gullible people can be. Making people, making people, making people, making people. Then where are we today? Where are we today? See the Buhari that is supported. See what is happening today. See himself that is coming, going back and forth, celebrating his birthday, uh, 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 showing an interest that he wants to run. Of course, he has not even declared that he wants to run. But with all the sharing, sharing, sharing this one, share rice, uh, donate this and this and that. Oops. What's, and he's making blunders here and there. And you are talking, saying he's a kingmaker. You know, that's how we always give people title when they don't even deserve it. Some people say, if you don't have money, hide your face. People don't ask you how you make your money. So far, you have money to share to them. That is the kind of life they are living. Well, it is not left to them. Well, Tenumbu is Ashiwaju Lori Ro. Igbowosa is Ashiwaju of Yoruba Nation. The people have spoken. Our Mumu don't do. Yoruba youth don't open eye. Igbowo has gathered enough momentum. It has to be whatever anyone does, it has to be on the truth, on the platform of truth, not trying to deceive people at the end of the day. No matter how you try to deceive people, at the end of the day, it will still be exposed. People will still know. But one thing that we should understand is that we at, at this stage in time, we should be able to look and watch people thoroughly so that we not, cannot say, oh, with time, we now know whether you are you are genuine or not. And meanwhile, a lot of things must have uh, must have been destroyed. At this age and time, we have been deceived enough. We have been deceived enough. And we should not continue in that line to be deceived at all. If anybody is coming, what we have experienced in the past is what we should be able to use to judge people who are coming to say, oh, I'm speaking on behalf of these people, speaking on behalf of these people. So that what's happened will not see repeat itself again. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let's have your take on this. Thank you.